You are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alerts. COVID-19 positivity rate in the national capital region rose to 52%, the first time NCR hit the above 50 mark according to Okta Research. The Department of Health recorded an additional 28,707 COVID-19 cases in the country on Sunday. Okta fellow Dr. David said in an interview that if the positivity rate rises above 60%, they may lose visibility of the pandemic situation. This is because if the positivity rate is higher, so it isn't clear if the actual number of cases are being counted. Meanwhile, Alert Level 4 will be raised for Metro Manila if the region reaches a healthcare utilization threshold of more than 70%. According to Acting Presidential Spokesperson Carlo Nograles, the National Capital Region remains under Alert Level 3 as it has high average daily attack rate high two-week growth rate, and moderate hospitalization rate. Nearly 300 personnel of the Philippine National Railways, or PNR, have tested positive for COVID-19, and 58 are passenger-facing staff. PNR spokesperson Celeste Lauta said PNR had also started conducting random testing on passengers to produce sample data and determine a recommendation to the Department of Transportation regarding the mandatory wearing of face shields. On Friday, around 15 passengers tested positive. Manila City Government have been supplying and distributing anti-COVID drugs available such as Remdesivir, Tocilizumab, Baricitinib, and Molnupiravir. Non-Manila residents may also avail themselves of the anti-COVID drugs. Molnupiravir is the first oral antiviral drug that is said to reduce the risk of hospitalization and death of COVID patients by 50%. It prevents mild to moderate cases of COVID-19 and is taken during the first five days of infection. An initial 40,000 capsules of Molnupiravir were procured by the Manila City Government and delivered to the Santa Ana Hospital in November. Manila City Mayor Isko Moreno said another delivery of Molnupiravir is expected by the end of January due to the high demand for the medicine amid the new surge in COVID cases. Land Transportation Central Office had suspended work and operations beginning today, January 10. Following the rising cases of most of its frontliners or client-facing personnel, LTO, meanwhile, will extend the validity of all students' permit, driver's licenses, conductor's licenses, as well as all medical certificates scheduled to expire in February. Let's head on to our weather update. Both the northeast monsoon or hanging Amihan and the easterly winds or hanging Silangan are affecting the country today. According to Pag-asa, Ilocos Region, Cordillera Administrative Region, and Cagayan Valley will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated light rains due to the northeast monsoon. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to the easterlies. For entertainment news, Pinoy Pop Supergroup SB19 was a top trending topic on Twitter on Sunday after their performance at the Round Festival. The hashtag, hashtag SB19 at Round Festival garnered more than 250,000 tweets as they performed Tila Luha and Mapa as their first two songs, then ended with Bazinga and their first hit, Go Up. Going international, American actor and comedian Bob Saget, best known as the jovial dad on sitcom Full House, was found lifeless inside a hotel room in Orlando, Florida, according to the Orange County Sheriff's Office on Twitter on Sunday. He was 65. And that's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to Global Daily Mirror on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Leslie Ordinario. Good day.